Last Friday, when Peter returned home from school, he got a fever and his cheeks started swelling. Now his best friend in school was also a sick for a few days. He also had a lot of pain and swelling in his cheek. So on Friday, when Peter got back home from school, he was running temperature and also the parotid salivary gland that is present below the ear started swelling which caused the cheeks to swell as well. So this disease is known as mumps. The various symptoms of mums are swollen parotid gland below the ear, pain, fever as well as excruciating headache. Now when the doctors tested Peter's sputum, they found a virus which caused this mums and these viruses are known as mums virus. So the causative agent of mums is a virus. Now the mode of transmission of mums is through air contact, that is when a diseased person sneezes and coughs, then the sputum containing the virus will get suspended in the air and while inhalation of air, this virus can get transmitted from an ill person to a healthy person. Also, unwashed handkerchiefs used by the patient is also another mode of transmission. Finally, utensils used by the patients should, uh, are contaminated. They have virus in them. So if these utensils are shared by a healthy person, then the virus can, get, uh, uh, can enter into their body and that person can contract mumps. So that is the reason doctors ask the patient to stay isolated for a few days. But if that is not possible, like in the case of a mother taking care of a little child who has, in, has been infected by moms, then the doctors advise the moms to take proper medication. Otherwise, if they do not take proper medications, then within 12 to 26 days, even they will contract this disease. Now why so? This is because uh, the incubation period of this virus is 12 to 26 days. By incubation period, I mean the time between the entry of the virus and the expression of the symptoms of in the body.